Good day and welcome to episode 19 I think. The first thing we are going to do today is create a washing station. Nothing in the sale that we need. Nope. Let's see. We go into tools. We have the washing station over here for four and a half thousand. But that's not the one we want. I want a complete washing station and that's over here 5000 where should we place it because our tractors our equipment needs a good cleaning and they deserve it we should have done this a lot earlier could we place it here no it's not we have to drive into it and have an easy way out of it should we steal something of this field? Maybe over here, remove a piece of fence, then we can drive in, drive out. Mm. Maybe I place one here in the future. Because I don't want to put it in the crops right now. Well, there's no crops in there, but there will be this afternoon. Because that's the other thing we're going to do today. We need to seed that field and we also need to grind out all the stumps. Now we are floating to our other yard and there we will find a perfect spot for this washing station. We have to drive a few times here, over here with our equipment, but if we place one on the other yard, yeah, then it will be no problem anymore. Because we will place one on the other yard, because I'm a lazy farmer. And if I have to spend a few thousand extra to make my life easier, I will. Because, as I said before, this game, a survival challenge, is not really a challenge. It's more of how and when it will happen. Because there will always be options to generate money. So I think... Making nice yards is also a good thing to do, instead of only making money. In Dutch we have a saying for this, the eye also wants something. And here we are, creating something for our eyes. A clean tractor, and this one really needs it. Look how dirty it is. Even dirtier than Christina Aguilera. Yes, that's my age. I guess when she started to bring out her numbers or her songs, I was around 15. So you can imagine a 15 year old boy with her songs and clips. Yeah, she was kind of. How do you say this? in the picture at that moment but I think a lot of my viewers also could recognize that because I've been checking some data and some analytics and most people who watch my videos are males between 35 and 45 years old from the UK or the US really funny because that's my uh, age category too So if you guys have any questions about old fashioned stuff, I can also help you I think. How to load up a Commodore 64 game, stuff like that, <laughs> the good days in the 80s. But I think that's also a generation thing, everybody says says their youth was the good age and it always is so we get the cedar attached and the stump grinder let's give them a good rinse too because last time I did see that the cedar was a little bit dirty it just fits in there nice 
Uh, it's also handy with this washing station. You can put it outside and you can carry the, the spray gun over there. Not too far, of course, because it has a hose that is connected. And let's clean this up nicely. We have to clean it from all sides. You can just spray at one spot and it will clean the whole thing. But we want to clean it all. And lately I've been seeing a lot of cedars around my house. All the farmers are busy, they're already done putting in their seeds. Only some beet crops and potato crops are still left to be planted. And I did, saw, did see some interesting combinations here. I did see the class Axion, a few John Deere's, Case, New Holland, I saw them all. And in different shapes and varieties. I saw in another series, someone was asking for an 8340 tractor. It was originally from Ford. Now Ford is I guess it's New Holland and Case and all these are the same brand, they're all under one mother company. But I saw it a few days ago in real life, the 8340. And it still said Ford on the side, so it was an oldie I guess. And we are all filled up with the cedar, let's get back to the other yard grind those stumps and seed that field, sow that field. See you! And here we are! Let's put the cedar over here. First we have to grind the stumps out. And now it be it was becoming clear that it was handy to keep the stump grinder. I wanted to sell it after we cleared the other field. But I never got to it. And now we need it again. So this is very useful. That's the first one. And the good thing of this thumb grinder is it doesn't destroy your soil. Some other stump grinders do. Well, I will speed this up and the sowing too, the seeding. And we will see you in, I think, 30 seconds, maybe a minute. There we go. in the shed can have its own corner space yes then we should get back to the field and start the seeding what will we put in since I am planning on having some chickens I think we should do a, a complete field of wheat and we got that out of the way we got food for them for a, for a couple of months or at least a half year to a year I think that will be a good option because we have fields left in which we can do other crops more interesting crops I would like to do some maize silage or corn silage and I did find some mods for old-fashioned forage harvesters they cost around 50 to 60 thousand euros so it's not the 300 thousand 
that a forage harvester normally costs. So that will be an option, since I cannot rent equipment on this series. And cannot use workers. I really miss my workers. I should start another series, I think, with no limits. Only fair money limits, no money added in, etc. Well, we're off seeding and we're doing wheat. So we can feed our chickens and we have some straw. Well, see you when it's done. final strip great it looks perfect and yes before I said I would cultivate over the plowed parts but I didn't I could directly seed it with this so I took some advantage there we go that looks great get the seeder back into the shed for future use This yard just has enough space to get around, but over here you could see if I leave one of my pieces of equipment in the way, they're already stuck. So let's park this to the side. We should get rid of these trees too, but it takes so much time, so I'm doing this in small bits. So I don't have to make one big video of removing trees or just a jump cut and all is gone. It also looks a little bit weird. Let's park this over here. And get our cedar in the garage or the shed. Whatever you want to call it. There we go, all nicely backed up. I think we should progress to the next day. So then we have a field that's ready to harvest. And we can progress our gameplay a little bit. Because all is taken care of. All our productions are running. All our productions are full. So I think we can. It's only the afternoon three o'clock but I think it will be beneficial to our gameplay so here we go into the next day nine o'clock will be fine and here we are let's get back to our other yard and see what can be harvested this is a beautiful morning Look at the sunrise. Let's check on our productions here too. Because as I told you before, as soon as you get up, you check your productions. We need more wood in there, but since we don't have a lot, we don't need it right now. This could do with some olives. Well, the case is, I got some olive trees here, so that's very handy. There you go. Just eat up. He can do with another pellet. At least. Yes, it got two and a half thousand liters right now. 
distributor is working maybe in the future we don't need the distributor distributor or distributor because we will just fill up our productions completely with a big water tanker we just saw that our small field of soybeans is ready to harvest we have to drive a little bit through our crop we planted yesterday the wheat field but it's small and we pretend we have crop tires so let's put this here this is another wheat field but that's not ready to harvest yet I think this is almost the next month it will be done and these are the soybeans so let's get our header attached and let's get working won't take a long time because it's one of the small original fields it is a corner field but they all were or are but in the future they will be more rectangular as you can see the field we're driving in right now has already been done it's a nice field nice size not too big not too small workable for us well i will start this and i will speed this up this will take only well 30 40 seconds see you in a minute there we go all finished it's only a few thousand liters of soybeans so I will store them for when the price is the best maybe we will do other soybean fields in the future and if we really need the money we could sell it but I don't see an urgent need for that right now so let's get this one attached and drive back to the yard our side entrance I think yes I got a small header so that will fit and then it's ready for the future use because next month the other wheat field will be done as I saw it correctly let's park this here turn out the engine yes This one looks great. All is perfect. Let's do some trees and get that out of the way. It will be a small job in between and every time I try to do a few trees or a few logs and the best thing about this is that our sawmill can produce. But what you're used of me is I'm jump cutting and speeding up. Jump cut number one. And as you can see it's all these small things you have to cut off and it will never... How do you say it? The green circle will never lock onto the right trunk that you're aiming for. Or the, the right branch. We should get that out of the way. This looks perfect. And then our another field will be behind it. Maybe we have to make a path later on. On the back side of the fields. So we can access them all. Or else we have to drive to the road every time. All the way around. So let's get into the class. And what will we be going to do? We're driving to the store. For what? 
there's a trailer we bought in the sale last time nothing on offer, nothing we need exactly planter nah, it's not what we need right now it's a good deal and it's only six and a half thousand but no no, I don't think I will do that now we get some cultivators which we're not using a lot right now but we will in the future and this is also a good deal it has field creator option but 320 horsepower so it's a little bit too much for us this is 180 horsepower hmm. no not right now let's get into the category we need next Forage, wagons, animals, forestry, and there we go. Because the next thing we are going to do is replant our old yard with trees. Because as you just could see, we don't have a lot of trees left and not a lot of wood in the sawmill, but we need it. And since we're not buying any new fields right now, or forest fields, we're gonna plant them ourselves in our old yard. For that we need a planter, and you have the mod of the Dumcon. Dumcon is the machine, and it's used for it, and it's only 16,000. I usually put the wheels on, don't know why, but I think it's for the support and it makes it a little bit more easier for the lighter tractors. And then we need to get some pellets of saplings or trees. But then I have to buy the right one, because there's one you can choose and you can't choose. I will also buy this transport box, it's only a few thousand, and very handy, also for the future. You can put it on the front linkage and carry around the stuff you need, bags or you know, pallets. Looks great. Yes. Now the saplings, and future me knows already that I'm going to buy the wrong ones. This one she cannot decide which kind of tree it is, at least I think. Because you can see I can only give the amount. And now I'm wondering, the past me, he's <laughs> looking at it like I cannot choose the tree and still bought one. I'm not the smartest always. Because I really want to put in spruce trees or lodgepole pine would even be better. Those are the platinum DLC trees and they only take 13 months to grow. And they are very straight, easy to cut up. But we have to do it with this one right now. And later on I will show you what I meant about not choosing the tree. This will give a really, a really weird uh, outcome when I'm planting this. And to be honest, I don't know the result yet. I never got that far, because there's only a few episodes left and then we are at the point where I started producing the videos and stopped playing, because it was already recording for 60 hours. So we will also bring home some more tree saplings, but I think I will manage to find the correct ones right now. Because as you can see here, here you can choose the trees. Pine spruce. Probably I will go with the spruce or the pine. And it's the spruce. There's two pallets, then we can put in 60 trees. That should be enough for now, because each tree fully grown gives about 5,000 liters. So we have 300,000 liters over there. That's enough to keep my sawmill going for one year, roughly. It's 2,440,000 uh, liters for a year. 
roughly. But yeah, it will also take two years to grow. So it's not very useful. Right now. And maybe we have to buy a small field with some trees in there. Just for the purpose of keeping our sawmill filled. We will also upgrade our Axion. Yes, we did it. We got some extra horsepower. Since we had the money. Let me see. 8.30. It's now the 8.30. And I really would like the white tires with wheel weights. I thought I already had them. But they were not white. So that's an extra 2,000 and a few hundred. Yeah, beacon lights is a okay. We want them all. Are there any other options I want right now? Where we can turn on the sensors on the tractor. It's 39,000 if I remember. Well, another time. So, we are fully repaired, we have some few more options, white tires and wheel weights are added, we are doing great, but our money is running lower again, but first let's get this tree planter over to our old yard, yard number one and start planting but the one pallet we have loaded on onto the tree planter is really generic trees I think because when we start planting let's see you don't know which trees are going in and in the bottom right next to the speedometer you can only see a generic tree so I'm really wondering what this will yield do we get all different kinds of trees? Do we get the same kind of tree? What tree will it be? I'm just playing with the transport box. I just found out you have the option to open it up. Well, lower the tree planter. It's working. And there we go. Our first tree is in. And I don't care if it's in straight lines or if it looks unnatural. I just want 60 trees to be planted in here. This is working great. Well, I will speed this up. And I will see you in a minute. this is a multi-fruit buying station I really wanted to try if I could buy saplings from here maybe you can well I don't get any option to do it so I will return to the store and get our other pallets I don't know if I bought the liftable ones No, I didn't. So I drove over there with the John Deere so we can load them up into the transport box. The John Deere has the front loader so we can use the, the forklift or the fork on the front loader. Does this fit? It should, but I should put the fork a little bit down. I'm messing up like always, but I always correct it. Yes, perfect. Nicely done. Get the fork down and drive out of there. Come on, let go. I will push it in.
Yes, that's perfect. Now the other one. Papa. Let's get the box attached. Maybe when I close the lid, they will shove right in there. If it fits. I'm wondering. Can I close? Yes. They're dancing a little bit, so we might strap them. They don't like this. This is glitch worthy. Well, we could do it this way. Or else our tractor might be flying to the field instead of driving. Let's get the front weight on. Well, we make it a front weight. Oh no, this tractor doesn't have a front linkage. Right? Then we have to pick them up with the fork. Because I brought the weight since I thought it might be used. Because we needed to lift the pallets and I didn't know what the weight was. Apparently they were not that heavy because I didn't need them. Well, we get this picked up. If I can. open up the forks a bit and then I will try to clamp it well it's on there uh, what's this okay this should do yes if I don't drive too crazy Well, we'll bring this back to the yard, start planting those 40 trees, and then it's time for the next job. Very carefully, yes, there we go. But that will be something for another episode, because today I thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Have a great day.